back everyone you know during thanksgiving we are all tempted to maybe slip some food under the table to our furry family friends like tilly here so yes. cute but as much as our dogs may love table scraps it's of course not very safe so joining us this morning to give us the do's and don'ts what's okay what's not we have liz from puff and fluff grooming and pet sitting thanks for being here this morning thanks for having us and you brought along tilly who's yes. doing so well not touching any yes, of the food she's like walking this table but she is not touching <laughs> all right it's it's inevitable people will either drop or a lot of the times kids and adults will maybe slip something yes. but it's not good yeah, most definitely. So the reason being is that there is so many added items to this food. It's not just chicken or turkey. It's all the added spices ah. and the dairy products to mashed potatoes. So it's all the added items, right? Because chicken is fine for feeding your dog, but if it's deep fried or if there's a lot of seasoning on that skin, it can be very toxic to their systems. That makes because sense. Because they're just not used to it, right? So if you're feeding dog food or, you know, um, different kind of foods at home, you know, this is extra heavy on this Thanksgiving day that okay. you want to kind of stay away from those items. And so. we'll probably have some mashed potatoes and gravy. You'll have some rolls yes. or biscuits. All this stuff will most likely be yes. on the table. Yeah. And, you know, you're, we cook with like garlic and onions a lot and also nuts. And they're just not used to that for their system. So their digestive system just can't What can happen if it. they get some of the wrong foods? Um, they can get um, very constipated. So they, mm. you know, wouldn't be able to go to the bathroom for a while. Um, possibly throw up. I mean, there's uh -huh. been some, you know, heavy cases on just eating this where okay. it just, it's not fun when you're wanting to enjoy your holiday with your friends so and family. What should you do when you have your friends and family and maybe there's kids running around, we know that'll be happening and they're tempted to give. You probably want to talk to them beforehand, right? Yes, yeah, for sure. Educate them that like the sweets are not good, the chocolate's not good. It's just, let's provide something else for the pet that day. And that's why yeah. you guys actually offer something pretty cool here, yes. a, belly, a belly deli. Yes, so we um, offer Yappy Meals, and it's provided by Puppy Belly Deli. It's a local company. She makes human-grade food for your pet. So in this case, you have three options. You can pick the actual entree for the, for the day. So this is chicken and rice and a little bit of veggies. Oh, we're and really this, teasing poor yes, here. Yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so the good thing about this is there's nothing added to this. So okay, it's just human I was going to say grade. it looks like real food, yes, and it, it is. Yes, it is, yeah, and it's okay. cut up really nicely. So you get that with the Yappy Meal. You also get any kind of your jerky that you would like. You can select, and it comes in this little package here. And then best part is you have Desserts. a pumpkin pie <laughs> with some uh, chicken on top. How is she not eating any of this right yeah, now? Can we let her eat? Yeah, she's very well trained, so <laughs> she's... Um, I love it. You want to eat some? Go ahead, Tilly. Enjoy that Thanksgiving. Oh, Ooh, my gosh, she's so yeah. cute. So there are three locations for uh, Fluff and Puff, and we'll put all the info on azfamily.com, but put your order in or go ahead and call one of the stores. Thank you so much, Liz. Yes, thanks for having us. Let's keep their bellies full, but also happy and safe. <laughs>